Welcome to How to Tune Pianos, the hobby, skill, and career of piano tuning. Today I'm going to show you how to record and measure your major thirds and your temperament. So first, we start with the recording, uh, which is how I've already done. Then you load it into Ocean Audio. So now, each of these major thirds, you can hear. Now what we want to do is uh, filter them out. So we do that by selecting, effects, filter, bandpass filter. You need to know the coincidental partial. This is F3, A3, coincidental partial A5. These presets I've already set up. You would have to know the frequency of A5 and just uh, use those limits to get it. And that's we do that for all of them. A sharp five, apply. Uh, now, now we're gonna just make it louder. I'm only selecting a subset of the full screen because if you select the whole screen by double clicking like this, sometimes you can't get out of it, so. It's a bug in the program. Normalize means to amplify. And now you can hear. There's the beat speeds of each of the major thirds. Now it's a simple matter of calculating the beat speeds by taking the length of a number of beats and divided by the time that they occur, beats per second. I've created a Google spreadsheet that makes this a bit easier. You go into measuring beat rates on my website, click on the link to the spreadsheet, and there we go, here's the spreadsheet. We have the major thirds right here. So you're gonna count a certain number of beats and type in the seconds. All right, so we go to the first one, F3, A3. So we don't, have, we don't have very many there, do we? Let's say if we go from this peak to that peak, we have two, 300 uh, milliseconds. So you put in a two here. So it's 300. Then we get 6.7 beats per second. This one here, let's say about that, maybe this one. There, that's one, two, three, um, 393. So three, 393. So what we see here is the green band is the goal of the beat speeds, and here the green band is the goal of the beat speed ratio. So each one should be about 6% faster. And we see here the percentages show that, you know, this is increasing. 15 and 16 are too fast. So that's why we've got this, this rise, this quick rise. And then we have a minus 17, which means it drops. Now what we want to do is listen to the whole thing and try to confirm that indeed that's what we have. Now as we listen, Try to orally confirm that, oh yes, this one goes faster, this one goes faster, and then this one goes slower. Try to orally confirm that you can hear that. That's how we use Ocean Audio to filter beat speeds and measure them. So if we wanted to do a little bit of an analysis here, we could see that that beat speed is slowed down a lot. So that means the G sharp 3 is too high or the C4 is too low. Well, if the C4 is too low, then this would be too fast.
a second to the last, and it's not. So that's not a confirmation. This gives us a very good measurement of whether or not our major thirds are progressive. Obviously, when this was tuned, the tuner assumed that they were progressive. And this kind of tool allows a person to go measure and then re-listen and confirm. Don't just look at this and say, uh, oh, that one was slower. No, because who knows, there may be a problem with the measuring system we used. We need to confirm orally that indeed, this beat is indeed slower than these three. We have to confirm orally, or there's no point in doing this. The whole idea is to improve our ear. By confirming orally that a measurement is what it is, we're directing our ear and we're, we're showing our ear. See? See what it slower sounds like? See how this sounds a bit slower? So indeed we can hear that slower. The next step is to listen to the unfiltered recording. Can you hear if this unfiltered major third beats slower than the rest? That's the trick. This is the filtered version. And the unfiltered version. That's the, the goal, to try and be able to hear that the fourth beat slows down without being filtered. And our steps towards being able to do that are to record, filter the audio using a bandpass filter, confirm that the beat speeds are progressive or not, and then listen to the filtered version and confirm orally that the measurements are correct, and then listen to the unfiltered version to try and confirm orally if the measurements are correct. I hope that helps you and I'm a strong believer that this feedback loop of making a tuning, making a judgment, measuring it and confirming whether or not your judgment was correct is the way to fast track your ear to becoming a good oral piano tuner. Thanks for watching.